Hello everybody and welcome back to another Friday, Friday, Friday reviews, Friday, Friday, Friday film review. And today I'm really excited because I'm going to be talking about a movie that is new to the cinema as well. It came out in the UK at the weekend and I went to see it on Wednesday and it is Inside Out so I'm sure most of you have probably already seen Inside Out. And Inside Out is definitely something that I have been really excited about and waiting for for quite a long time since I ever saw the first trailer or like maybe a teaser trailer and the picture which was kind of just that brain with the little things inside. Do you remember that poster that came out oh, um, probably last year or so? Anyways, I've been really excited about it. I've seen the trailer, which I know kind of goes against my theme, but I, it just was everywhere, that trailer. Everything that I turned on, it was the trailer at the beginning. I think the trailer was when I went to see Jurassic World. Anyway, so just, you know, I've seen the trailer. But what I do say about Inside Out is they didn't give too much away with the trailer. I was definitely very surprised. It was definitely different than I expected it to be. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, now, something great, I think, about Pixar, which this is what I was, I've been thinking about. So I saw it last night. And then today I've kind of been just kind of thinking about my thoughts and I'm glad that I didn't do the review straight after I watched the movie because I definitely have more thoughts now, you know, the next day. And I think with Disney, like, you know, Frozen, Big Hero 6 to mention recent ones, um, we get, I leave a Disney movie feeling great and fun and like I had a fun time and I leave a Pixar movie, mo mostly, not necessarily, probably not with Monsters Universe, that one's a little bit different I think maybe, but most Pixar movies, I leave the Pixar movie and I really have a lot to think about then. I think this is definitely one of those movies. There's a scene in this movie that has just really, really stuck with me. I mean, I know it's only been a day, um, but it's really, really stuck with me. And I can't wait to watch the movie again when it comes out on Blu-ray. So yeah, I'm definitely all for this movie. I liked that I had a lot to think about afterwards. But anyway, now let's get on to what the movie's about. So basically, we have a little girl called Riley. She's 11 in this movie. And, you know, she has a mum and dad. She's her only child. And basically, they move from, I think, Minnesota to San Francisco. I think it's Minnesota they moved from. Anyway, they moved to San Francisco and obviously, you know, she's got to leave her friends behind and she's got to go to a new school and she's got to leave her hockey team behind, which she loves and all this stuff. Um, and she's kind of, it's basically, that's kind of the outside situation. And then most of the story goes on with inside her head. I'm sure you probably all know this. I mean, who doesn't know what Inside Out is about yet? But anyway, we have the emotions inside the head, which we have joy, sadness, disgust, anger and fear. Is there any more? Joy? sadness, disgust, anger and fear. I think there's five, yeah. Is that, is that what I said? Yeah. Um, my favourite emotion was definitely sadness and I was really happy about how much she was actually in this movie. At first I already kind of felt like she was my favourite before I seen the movie. I was all excited for the movie, I decided who I liked, I played the little app on my phone which is actually really cool. If you haven't played the Inside Out app, I would recommend it, it's fun. Um, yeah, I played the app and I liked sadness. And I loved her in this movie, she definitely didn't disappoint me. I think my second favourite character was probably Joy. She's kind of our main character because basically, you know, inside this headquarters where all these emotions are, Joy's kind of in charge, she's kind of wanting to keep Riley happy obviously, you know, and the others kind of just bit in every now and then. Um, so yeah, Joy I really liked as well. Now, we also have a few moments, but not very many. I think maybe I would have personally liked there to be a few more of these moments because I found them really funny, but I think maybe kids wouldn't as much. But basically, there's a few times when we get to go inside the mum and dad's head and I thought that was hilarious. I loved that. I loved the mum and dad's heads when we were inside theirs. I thought that was really funny. Those scenes definitely made me laugh. The first half of the movie, I definitely got a lot of laughs and I found it funny and it was relatable and it was cute and it was just it was funny disgust definitely made me laugh a lot at one point and i was just laughing i haven't really laughed too much like that in a movie before uh, well not before but you know recently and it was so funny and it was so cute and then the second half of the movie definitely what i don't want to say sad it was kind of sad but not in a bad way not sad in a bad way it was just kind of that kind of heart hurtingly sad but happy kind of thing um and it was surprising. The way that it ended was definitely interesting. I liked the message. Uh, obviously, I can't give... I don't want to give too much away because if you haven't seen the movie, I definitely think you should just go and see it and be surprised and love it. But if you have seen it, you probably know all the things I'm talking about. I don't even need to explain it. But, um, yeah, there were things that happened that I didn't expect to, like I say. And we have kind of our main characters of joy and sadness. They're kind of the main main two, I'd say. Um, and the the relationship between the two of them was really really interesting and I really really loved it and I especially loved Sadness's story that progressed throughout the whole film I thought it was fantastic, I loved it, I loved the concept of it and the idea and the kind of message behind that whole story and then we also have another character called Bing Bong 
And at first I was like, mm, Bing, I'm not really going to tell you who Bing Bong is. You've probably seen a picture of him and thought, what, what is Bing Bong? Because I looked at him and I was like, what is this? And uh, yeah, he's actually really, really awesome. And he's, at first I kind of, it took me a while to warm to Bing Bong. And then once I'd warmed to Bing Bong, I just loved Bing Bong. I think he's probably, he's a tie. Joy and Bing Bong are my second favourite characters. I just loved them. And I don't know, there's so much thought kind of in Bing Bong and his situation after you've seen the movie. He's definitely been the one I've been thinking about the most since finishing the movie. Um, I loved him, he was great. Um, so yeah, all the characters are fantastic, all the kind of, I can't really explain it, I don't want to say worlds because that's not quite what I mean, but they, they kind of go through a lot of places in the mind and it's really, really interesting. For example, you know, they talk about long-term memory and the subconscious and deja vu and all these little cool little mind things which I think are really cool which little kids might not get but definitely older people older kids will and like adults and you know stuff like that they will get that and it's really cool how they've done that and it's just really quick I loved the memories and the core memories and it was just really really interesting I mean I'm sure you've heard that it's super super unique and I think that's what I love about it most it's just so original I've never really seen anything like it before and it was kind of felt like so much thought was put into everything in the movie and each character and I just loved it honestly I really 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 enjoyed it I can't wait to watch it again there's so much that can be said about it but I'm sure you've probably heard somebody else say about it oh you should just definitely go and see it yourself I definitely would give it five stars I really 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 enjoyed it it's a great Pixar movie I feel like we can always rely on Pixar to bring out a fantastic movie um so yes definitely go and see Inside Out if you haven't already can't wait to just I just I'm all inside outness now I just kind of want to I don't know I just love all the characters I want to watch it again it was great it was lovely it was sad it was heartwarming it was funny it made me laugh and it was just all the stuff um so yeah i loved inside out let me know down in the comments below what you think about inside out have you seen it who was your favorite character i'd definitely like to know that like i say my favorite is sadness my second favorites are joy and bing bong um and i really i loved all of them there's not any characters that i didn't like there wasn't really any bad like there wasn't really any villainous characters which was really really interesting because oftentimes you know this, this is the bad guy these are the good guys it wasn't really like that it was definitely kind of had a deeper meaning to it, I think, this movie, which I really, really, really liked. Um, yeah, so if you guys have seen Inside Out, let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and this Friday reviews. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!